Sonia Vallab and Eric Minical were still pretty much newlyweds when they found out they would never grow old together. Five years ago, doctors told Sonia she carried a genetic mutation for an incurable disease. We think I might have about 20 years. That's our best guess, but there, there are no guarantees there. Dead by 50. That's the medical reality for now. So why didn't you stop there? You learned this is not a curable disease. End of story. Because that wasn't OK. Yeah, I love you. Eric says they realized that if they wanted this cured, they might just have to do it themselves. <laughs> Never mind that neither one of them knew a thing about medicine. She was a recent law grad, and he worked in transportation technology. But they knew how to use Google, so that's where they started. They typed in genetic prion disease, which is what she has, and learned what they could from Wikipedia. Then took night classes in biology, got accepted into a PhD program at Harvard, quit their old jobs, and started working as researchers here at the prestigious Broad Institute in Cambridge, Massachusetts. They are now full card-carrying scientists. Eric Lander is director of the Broad. They really came in with a total plan of all the possible options because failure is not one of those options. How's this going? And so, with happily ever after on the line, husband and wife now stand side by side, day after day, working toward a cure. I think we both really think this is, this is doable. By all accounts, they are well on their way to becoming leading experts in the field. In fact, they're already so well respected, Sonia was recently invited to speak at a medical conference with the president. Devoting ourselves to developing treatments for these diseases. If Sonia and Eric are successful, they will not only save Sonia's life, but the lives of more than 7,000 other people who die every year from this painful, rapidly progressive form of dementia. It would be a huge medical story. And yet, for the woman at the center, no matter what happens, this will always be a love story. I think it's just the miracle of, of my lifetime that we met. Even if we cure this disease, that will always be the great miracle for me.